today on Divorce Court. When James gets drunk, he's destructive. He thinks he's God's gift to women. She always get me when I'm intoxicated. She like to talk to me crazy. She say this and that to me. So when she try to down me, I feel less of a man. That's when I go in on him. He's a very selfish individual. He thinks that everything is supposed to be about him. She control it because of the financial situation we in. I don't work at the moment. He stays out all night, be gone for days and days at a time, won't call me. I can't go nowhere by myself. She don't like me to be out of her sight. I'm gonna need him to step it up for me and my children and be the man that he said that he was gonna be. I would love to stay with her forever, but I can't stay forever with somebody that don't want to stay with me. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Amanda Thomas and James Bright. The two of you have been together for six years. You do not want to be together anymore. You have three children together. You're trying to end this relationship. Ms. Thomas, you want some money from Mr. Bright as you leave. Before we get to that, Ms. Thomas, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me about this relationship and why we're here in divorce court today? Well, Your Honor, um, James, he is a habitual liar and a habitual cheater. Um, I have caught him cheating on me several times times on numerous occasions. Um, for example, one time we were having a get together at the house. Um, friends over, you know, we're having a good time listening to the music. Um, one of our friends pull us to the side. She's like, girl, you see your man in there? He's in there kissing on another woman in the living room. So I go up in there. I see him sitting next to her. I lost it, judge. I turned off the music, got the yell and put everybody out the house, including him not thinking that he was going to go out there and pull, get up in the car with her and pulled off right in front of my face with her. Mr. Bright, did that occur? Well... <laughs> uh, I know this is going to be a good one. You well, better believe it. You better, but anyway, I didn't, uh, I didn't kiss the gal. Uh, one of her friends, whoever friend probably told her that probably liked me anyway. That's she a lie, probably doing, She was probably doing that trying to throw... She was probably doing that trying to throw a man to all... You know, your man, he ain't no good. You know what I'm saying? He in there kissing another girl because he probably wanted me at the end of the day anyway. Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember. So who... you think she made it up so she can get with you? Yes. And, okay. But now, as far as me leaving with the girl, yeah, I did. She put me out. I need a rise. So I, I live with her. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Thomas, do you have any other stories to, to, to relay to me? I do, Your Honor. Um, there was a time that he had been gone for a couple days. Um, I'm worried about him. I'm pregnant. I'm at home worried. I'm scrolling social media. Yeah, he wasn't worried about me. Anyways, I'm scrolling social media trying to see if I can get a hit, see if mm -hmm. I can see where, he, where he's at. And mm -hmm. I scroll down and here he comes, popped up, arm around his ex, smiling ear to ear on the couch. He has her arm around him. He comes into the house a couple days later. He don't know that I seen the picture yet. Mm -hmm. He said that he's at his grandma's house for a couple days. I pulled the picture up. His mouth dropped like this. He didn't know what to say. He was just like, no, she just happened to be there when I was there. She just... It was nothing. You don't have anything to worry about that was in the past. That hurt my feelings, Your Honor. I feel like that she was a threat to me in my relationship. So, I, I lost it. M Mr. Bright, do you recall that circumstance? Yeah, I, I sure recall it. What uh, happened there? Well, well, well it, it, it was my ex-girlfriend. She came back to visit. And her circle and my circle is about the same. Mm -hmm. We mingle around the same people. So, she was at the same get-together that I was. And I felt like, you know, it's been years since we've been together. We could cordially be around the same room with each other without mm -hmm. it being, you know, anything sexual, anything like that. So and, it was an innocent photo, is oh, what yeah, you're saying? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, because, uh, you know, her, her nephew... He her... was smiling from ear to ear. That's this what was they, not that's what no... you do when you take a picture. No, Jeez, this was not cheese. no innocent photo. <laughs> you know you was not supposed oh, to be around that okay. girl. They say say cheese. Jeez, right. and they do say say cheese, Mr. Bright. You're absolutely right, Miss Thomas. Anything else to tell me? Well, this is the one, Your Honor. One day, we had gotten a verbal altercation. Um, the police had came, arrested him for disorderly conduct, um, for being loud, cussing out the police. They take him to jail. The next day, I go up there and try to help get him out the situation, you know, tell him that we... It was just the altercation. Everything was going to be okay. I'm in line. Next thing you know, here comes this ratchet white woman, comes up to me and said, Are you JB's baby mama? I said, yeah, who are you? She said, I'm his new girlfriend. I've been dating him for three weeks. I drive to the store every day, <laughs> buy him what he needs to get through the day. He's, he's been lying about this woman, Your Honor, 
for the longest. And she came up to me and embarrassed me in front of everybody in the courthouse. Do you know the woman about whom we speak? I know what she's talking about. What, well, can you tell me your version of well, that event? Well, the thing was, man, they, they let me out of jail. And, and, I, and I, I ain't know who... And they shouldn't have. I figured that, you know what I'm saying, my old lady here came and got me out of jail. Right. So, I, but she wasn't outside the front. So the courthouse and the jail is like right across the street from each other. Right. So I walk across the street with my plastic bag, you know, and I see her truck. So I'm, I walk to the truck, fat, dumb, happy. I think he came and got me. I'm sorry, baby. I'm ready to get kiss her and, you know, whatever, whatever. Right. So she come out talking about some white girl, said she went and got her lawyer to come get me out of jail. I'm, in my first mind, I, I ain't thinking nothing about the white girl. We don't have no dealers like that to come get me out of jail. Oh, they had dealers, Stop, Your Honor. stop, stop. You know, and so she told me the white girl came and got me out of jail. She done beat the girl up, Your Honor. <laughs> she done beat... Well, then we... Now, 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 Mr. Bright... Some woman that you didn't know, did you know her? I know her. You know her? Do you know why she came and got you? She, she didn't. It was just that, uh, probably through the wind, one of my partners or something told her that I was locked up, and so she wanted to feel like Superwoman, like she, she was coming down there to get me. She made that story up just for the piss of man all. You was know. she trying to get with you too, she but you didn't like her? Trying to, trying to do he something had else. been with her, Your yeah. Honor, for two weeks prior but, to this occasion. But you she knew, knew what she was talking about when she when came she was up talking to me. about she it. She knew who I was. I've never seen this woman a day in my life, Your Honor. Did he ever admit that he slept with her? Not to me, Your Honor. Still to this day, even though I know that he hasn't, he 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 won't tell me. That's what women do. They get another woman. He thinks that, that, that every. <laughs> Not That's true, it. Your Honor. That's he thinks it. that everybody wants no. him. He thinks that everybody no, wants no. him. Yes, but you do. Speaking of yes, you, you, hey, you hey, think hey, everybody hey, wants hey, him. Hey, 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 speaking of that, my understanding is, Ms. <laughs> Thomas, that you say when he drinks, he becomes quite the ladies' man and oh, thinks every woman wants him. So I want you to tell me a little bit about his drinking habits and what he does do when he's drinking. Next thing you know, here he comes banging on the door. I'm telling him, I have company, James. He absolutely lost it. He picked up a rock out the yard, threw it through my bedroom window. He's trying to kick in the door, saying he's gonna beat the man up. Ms. Thomas, tell me about Mr. Bright and his drinking habits. Well, Your Honor, um, when James drinks, he, he thinks he's God's gift to women. <laughs> I've caught him numerous of times on Facebook cheating. Um, he becomes very destructive. There was a moment that he had put me through a lot over the four years, so I decided that I was going to give him a taste of his own medicine. So I had some company, male company, over at our house that we share. Uh, not thinking that he's gonna show up. Well, we sure. Next thing you know, here he comes banging on the door. I'm telling him, I have company, James. You left me. I don't, ha I don't have to let you in here. He absolutely lost it. He picked up a rock out the yard, threw it through my bedroom window. I can hear him out there carrying on, cussing. He walks around to the back porch, knocks over the glass patio table, glass everywhere, kids in the house. He's trying to kick in the door, saying he's gonna beat the man up. It, 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 it was just, just a hot mess. It was a hot mess, Your Honor. Finally, he pulls off, calls me two days later, upset, crying, everything. But he's put me through stuff for years, Your Honor. Okay. I just Mr. wanted him to have a taste. Taste of his own medicine. Mr. Bright, what do you have to say about that incident? Well, before I get into that, let me say, I ain't never called her crying. I, I don't know why she said that. Yes, he did, okay. Your Honor. But we, we, yeah, we got that that he, he was but, hurt, Your Honor. He yeah. was hurt. Out of all that, you found that anyway. important. But anyway, go ahead. Anyway, go ahead. So I, I did come home. <laughs> I did come home from a, from a, from a long night. And, uh, you know, I, I do stay out, uh, you know, night or two at a time. I do do that. It's, it's nothing new. We've been doing that since we've been together, so it wasn't no thing for me to come home. He promised me you change. Know. Stop. And so I walked to the doorstep. I knocked on the doorstep. I can't come in. Which, that's natural. She tried to be, you know, hard about it. You know what I'm saying? But as long as I stay, she let me in. But I look over, I see another brother uh, head in the window. So now I done lost it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm halfway full from last night, and I done lost it. So, she right, I did break the windows out, but in my philosophy, I, I don't want to do nothing to her. I don't want to get to with him because I might do some, some damage, you know, to him, my aggression, you know what I mean? So, I figured I'd break the windows out. If they're going to sit in there and be comfortable, you're going to freeze the deal. It's cold outside. Y'all going to freeze. That's the real AC. Uh -huh. That's a real air conditioner. Uh -huh. And you got to uh -huh. fix the windows. So, you grab all the uh -huh. company. Since you want to mingle with them, tell them fix your windows, too. 
That's God on the truth. Y'all will freeze together. Ms. Thomas, <laughs> has he been like this throughout? Well, no. Actually, I feel like he tricked me in the beginning. He charmed me. How, how you know, did he he's trick a good you? looking guy. Man, he's he smart. Uh, he's funny. Um, he keeps me laughing, but the whole time he's telling me one thing and doing another. And I just don't feel like that it's right the way that he's treated me and our children. Okay. Mr. Bright, do you feel a little that you have mistreated her yeah. and, and not given an appropriate home yeah. to the children? I, I have mistreated her, but I love my kids. I, 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 do, I do everything for them. Yeah, you know, but you do mistreat her. I will. <laughs> but, 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 you know, but... but How is that you know okay I mean? with you? It, it, it's not okay, but she started. So you start playing with me, hey, I, 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 well, I... Well, in what way does she start it? Well, because she, she like to, she like to downgrade me as a man. I ain't this and that because I ain't working at the moment, stuff like that, you know, or I, I might, uh, not be, make a smarter decision. I'm, I'm an idiot, I'm dumb. So, I feel like you can't out-talk me, so whatever she say to me, I, I just hear it even always harder. always has to have the last word on her, but always. But she, she can't, she can't dish it and take it. I heard, she, she hurt. When I say it back, now she's so heartbroken. I can't take your mouth away. Well, you called me stupid. <laughs> right. So, maybe I called you chubby. That hurt your feelings, huh? Well, it hurt my feelings when you called me dumb. I got you. Then now I want to move from here to the financial problems that you're having because of Mr. Bright's actions. He goes down to the plasma center and donates his plasma like it's a real <laughs> job, thinking that $75 a week is going to do something for us. He really thinks that's a legitimate job, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bright, is your main source of income selling your blood? How would you feel if a stranger told you that they were sleeping with your partner? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Ms. Thomas, you say that the things he does makes you financially unstable. Why don't you it give does. me some examples? Well, um, he'll call into work uh, if he's had a long night and put himself at risk of losing his job. He goes down to the plasma center and donates his plasma like it's a real <laughs> job, thinking that $75 a week is going to do something for us, and then turn around and spends the money on bills, really trying to save the last dollar for his beers. He takes his bonus money from the plasma. That all goes to beers. He really thinks that's a legitimate job, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Bright, is your main source of income selling your blood? No. <laughs> Nah, that's, don't lie. No, nah, that, that's, that's, that's not the case, y'all. Well, what do you do don't for a lie. living? Well, uh, well I'm, I'm a welder. I'm a welder by trade. By trade? Yes. But, uh, but what do you actually do? Well, now, now I'm unemployed. And, uh, the and reason, how long have you been unemployed? I've been unemployed now for about six months. Mm-hmm. And uh, now the reason why I go sell my plasma, for one, I'm a humanitarian. I like to give back to him. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know that people sick that need that. And if I get a couple of dollars on the side for it, I do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But I don't, I don't do that as a mean of my main income. You know, I, you can't pay no bill forty, fifty dollars. Right. You know, right. so, so I give her, I give her the bulk of it. And yeah, I spend five and ten on, on, on a couple of drinks. What else you gonna do with? And not only that, that <laughs> also makes him irresponsible with money. He has never paid a bill in his life, Your Honor. He actually... I let you pay him. <laughs> like he said, he gives me the money, I have to go pay the bills, and he just takes his money and scurries on down the street that and ain't expects the truth. me to go pay. He won't everything. let me. That that's a lie. You know, he I does what he wants to do, Your Honor. I've never been able to go out and have a good time with my friends. I stay at home. She ain't got none. I that's do. the problem. I that can't, is the problem. I can't have no friends because I can't get out and mingle, Your you Honor. You can go I'm out full, if you want to. I'm a full time. Mother, I stay in the house, get up every day, five o'clock in the morning, get the kids off the school while he lay on the couch. I'm running through the house mad. He's still laying on the couch. I'm getting everybody ready for Do school. Do you work? Um, right now, I'm unemployed, but I have worked to support us this whole time. Uh -oh. And now that I have, I just had our four-month-old, so that's why I'm home why with our children. Why do you keep having babies with him? I mean, what? <laughs> that's... That's true, Your Honor. And makes our financial problems even worse. <laughs> well, you you just as responsible, am, Mr. Bright. What are you doing? Yes, I am. I am. What are you doing to but, further this family and experience? I love my kids, but she did have those kids to try to just keep me around. And that, <gasps> it, that's why I feel that, that's not that's not true, Your Honor. 
We was in this together. We was in this together. But we, she was tricking me, talking about, I, I talking about she on the pill. I, got I the never shot. said that. I've never tried and to I, trick and him. And I should know, man. I'm 31 years Why old. Why would I try to trick him, Your I've been Honor. in the game He's a long time. I should have known better when I was doing that. You're responsible for what you do. I know it. You I are known responsible better. for I what known. you do. I can't get And let me tell you what it is. But she on the internet. Hey, 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 hey. I'm all done. I'm so finished. I don't know what to do. And let me tell you what I what I need to tell you before I run out of here. What should you do if your partner isn't financially supportive? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Ms. Thomas, you say that this man owes you $826 for impound fees. Explain that to me. Well, um, another, in another one of his drunken rages, Your Honor, uh, we had had an ice storm. He is out there, you know, trying to act like he's doing the right thing, putting the salt down so I won't slip in the driveway. He comes in and gets the keys, asks, can he move the car so he can put the salt down mm -hmm. on the driveway? Well, he backs out. He rear ends the neighbor's car, puts a dent in their car, and scurries down the road in the car. Next thing you know, I have the police showing up my house talking about they done impounded my car, took him to jail because he hit somebody's flagpole up the road. And I don't even understand why he was doing this, Your Honor. He knows he ain't supposed to be driving. He promised me he was going to pay me back for the money. They just let him out of jail the next day and kept my car. I had to pay $800 to get the car out of jail. Let him out. They should have kept him and gave, and him gave car you back. the car. Mr. Bright, what do you have to say about that? Uh, I, I probably, I should have been driving. It. That, that, she right about that. I should have been driving. But I've been telling her for months to get the brakes fixed. That's what happened. The it brakes went out. It had nothing to do with the I brakes. I know how to drive. Honor. The brakes went out. Let me say this. Y'all a hot mess. He had ah, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm all done. You're a hot mess. I could yell at you for letting him get away with it, but I think the first time, okay. The second time, maybe. But really? I mean, as, as, this long, six years, three kids? Mr. Bright, you can do better. I know, I know things must be slim pickings out there with not a whole lot of dudes, because I get guys coming in here trifling, no count, no money, no support, no kindness, no love, cheating, running around, coming in here, and women still with them. Yeah. So something must be going wrong out there. I get that part. But don't be as small as you're capable of being. Do you know I, what I, I mean? I be a better man than that. You I got a daughter? Yeah. Don't be the... Two don't, of them. Don't, Two don't of be them. that... Yeah, see there? And a four-month-old son. The, your daughter will take all of the nonsense you give her, because she's think that's as good as it gets. You get a guy who runs around and comes home every once in a while. You get a guy who comes home and throws rocks in the window. You yeah. get a guy who's drunk and doing all that. That's what you're teaching them yeah. as normal. I feel bad D about don't that, because they get, see you, that. Yeah. And if she's not stable, they're not stable. Mm -hmm. So everything you do to her mm -hmm. gets multiplied and falls on them. Be a better man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't give your kids bare minimum, because if you give bare minimum, they'll hardly have anything at all when they grow up. But you know what they'll have? Yeah. $826 in your favor. <laughs> it is so <laughs> The judge told me uh, I, should, I need to step up and be a better man. I should. Uh, I'm going to do so. I'm going to be more diligent in uh, staying in the workforce, finding a job, a, a, a constant job, and uh, being there for my kids the right way. As far as us being in a relationship, it's, it's not going to work. So hopefully we can work this out for our children just to co-parent. But I'm moving on with my life.